Hey everybody, welcome back with another episode of Life with the Hamptons. As you can see what we're doing today, we are installing our brand new Fleet Lithium 72 volt battery pack. It's a uh, 76.8 volts is going to be the, the, I guess, the nominal voltage. Um, 105 amp hour. This is a little over 8,000 kilowatts of uh, stored energy, which is a huge battery pack. Um, and I know it's hard to understand this, and we won't get into the, um, to all the, the specifics and technicals about the different amp hours and all that stuff right here, but, but this is a 72 volt system. If this was a 48 volt um, this same 105 amp hour would only be around 5,000 watt hours of stored energy. So 105 amp hours, 72 volt is, is like, however you do the math on it, is like 50% uh, or close to 60% greater capacity than a 105 amp hour, 48 volt system. So this is actually a monster battery. And uh, what we're doing is we're going to put it in here. And what I've had to do is um, I've drilled a few more uh, tabs. And I didn't want it. This does sit down in this uh, Tracker EV. It does sit down in it, but it, it has like a three-quarter inch. So it just barely catches on each lip here. And I didn't like that. And we do have cold weather. Like right now, the high all week has been like 40. And uh, it's cold. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some tuba sixes in here, which will bring it a quarter inch above this lip right here, quarter inch taller. And what that allow me to do, I cut the tops of these tabs off right here. That will allow me to, um, my wood to be a little higher. So what I can do in theory in the future, I'll put a, a piece back here and two pieces here and screw them down from underneath the two by sixes. And of course they are pressure treated. I'll, and then I'm gonna put carpet over top of, of the two by sixes and hopefully that'll alleviate a lot of the cold air coming up from the bottom of the bottom of this battery because what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape, I'm going to heat tape this battery and I'm going to wrap it all the way around and have just a plug in um, just on a trickle charger. So when it gets cold, I can just plug in the trickle charger on this battery, which will keep the battery warm, which will allow the battery to charge even though it's below 32 degrees. So um, that's what we're doing. Just hang tight and we'll get on this. hard to do if you ain't using a pencil. guys after um much beating and persuading with my 32 ounce persuader here we got this in got it down flush with these and uh i could have trimmed a little more yeah i could have but i actually prefer everything being there really really tight so i'm gonna go underneath screws screws we'll screw all them down to the this metal frame they actually stick up an eighth of an inch higher than my metal frame. So I'll actually be able to take, if I want to take one of these batteries, this battery that sits here in the future, I could get two of these for a over 16,000 watt hours of energy. I could turn them sideways like this and they would stack in together. They're that compact that I could actually use two of these um, and uh, have 210 amp hour 72 volt battery pack which is probably good for more than a hundred miles um in in my terrain which is which is pretty rough so um but anyway we got this let's go ahead and keep rolling with it you guys keep in mind that this battery uh, 
keep in mind that this battery is 150 pounds. So it is not light by any means. But it left me tons of room back here, as you can see, to uh, to mount everything, to mount my um, charger, all that stuff. I could take and put my charger here or over here, see what's where the batteries were at, but uh, just left a bunch of room, so let's keep going. But just for kicks and the old giggles. Ooh, Little my. I know I meant to. I meant to angle. I meant to angle. Can't let my drill bit dangle. Just like that. And if you can't see that, because that now you now you can see you got one there. Factory there there factory. Let me go get some more in over here and. Uh, like I said, that'll, that'll help us out, as my papa would always say. it help us. Misguided shenanigans. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I will, um, for the sake of any viewers, yeah, this is a metal strap right here. It's a brace to keep this front piece to, from, I guess, flexing with the seat. But uh, I will cover this up. I will put tons and tons of, of tape on this all the way through here. Everybody, for kicks and giggles, you can see what I did here. Just got some foam and uh, wrapped it around that and then uh, taped it about three good complete layers of uh, electrical tape so. all right guys you see we uh <clears throat> got it going on i've got my uh this is just this simply plugs up here uh and this is the instrument panel that will replace this i'll pull this out and change that out right now i'm putting in the onboard charger putting that in so uh getting her done little test run before i start trying to wire everything and hook everything up see my it's on i've got the charger hooked up and you see i've got the red light flashing so it tells you it's uh i think it's right at, it's below 50 percent or below 80 or something like that but you can read on there and it'll tell you what it is um but anyway it's uh and i've got my so we can see it's putting 12.2 amps in there. The battery's at 50%. And uh, so it's going good. So I'm going to go ahead and charge it up so as to get down below freezing by about um, 8 o'clock tonight. So it should be able to charge before the BMS cuts it off for being too cold. So uh, anyway, going good so far. All right, everybody, we're back. <laughs> We've got the old unit installed and uh, trying to go around and kind of clean up you see, I clean up my wires, zip tying, kind of gathered them up, zip tied just a little bit. Just trying to make it a little neater. Got everything out, we got it charged. Turned the battery on, as you can see, we're at 80.1 volts, resting 100%. So, see if we got the, let's see, we got to turn that in neutral. Oh, we got headlights. See if we got, oh yeah, we've got, we got our spots, we got our spotlights and our headlights. So everything's working as it should. Awesome. Good deal. Right, guys, you see I'm under the buggy and there is, uh, there's the cord coming out of the back of the dash. And uh, I've got it running down and zip tied to the the wiring harness. And I come down and I don't know if I can zoom back. I don't think I can. But I didn't want to uh, wire it too 
to this sharp edge so i just kept it wired to the brake line and we just continued and then right here's where i'm going to go up and there's the battery so i'll go up right through there and uh and then we'll pull it from up top got the battery in as you can see the uh the dash the instrument panel there um Let me see kind of what it looks like here. We've got charger mounted. Got that wired up, zip tied. I'll do a little better job with that. Just, just getting it now to where we can use it. And uh, just for kicks and giggles, that I just put some more duct tape around that right there. That's really sufficient. Um, this thick cover, but it being pretty close to it, I went ahead and tape that but that's the uh bluetooth device but anyway this is the installation here and and it comes in a pretty tight neat little job and it uh it got all my majority of my weight up front way up in front of my rear axle so that'll help with the weight on the front end and uh so here it click we go to reverse and if we, can, I don't know if we can do that or not, but there we go. So it's moving. All right, we got it. Of course, um, lights work. All that good stuff. We get a neutral. Um, headlights on. Uh, my spots. There they are. They're on. So twelve volts got power to it. I left the charging port, the original charging port. I just left it there. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take that out. But what I did do was, as you can see, uh, one of these wire, this wire right, right here. This was, this wire, the white wire was coming from the charging port. So I just taped off the end of it and taped it up. And then on, again, on the negative side, um, it's got a negative wire that I just, uh, this brown one right there. That one's coming from the charger as well. So I taped the end of it. So I'm not sure what this little one is. Probably, I don't know, some excess lights or something on the rear. But uh, that's that one. And those two were from the charging port, the old charging port for the lead acid batteries. And uh, so really not a whole lot to it. Everything was pretty easy. So uh, we're going to put this, load this video up and... Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll load this video up and get that out to you on the install. And we'll go try this thing out here in a day or two. And I'll put up a, another review of the battery. God bless you guys. Like, share, and subscribe.